Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Our entrance hymn today is number 571. We gather together. You can find it in the uh, gather hymn hall. Please all stand. Oh Lord, you have proved me, 
And you know me, you know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journey and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O oh Lord, you know the whole of it. Behind me and before, you hid me in, and rest your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Jesus, the light of Jesus, 
always shines in our own darkness. In the dark and difficulty experiences of daily life. That is why John, Jesus spoke of John as a burning and shining lamp. And John the Baptist is also a great inspiration to us to allow the light of our own faith to shine. To allow the light of the gospel to shine. Even when it's not popular or convenient to do so. Especially in the society, as you know, that we live today. It's not popular and convenient to let the light of the gospel shine, but that is the mission that is given to us. To let this light of Jesus illuminate the darkness of society. So this is what Jesus is also expecting from us to be able to let the light of our own faith shine even when it's not popular or convenient to do so. So our calling is to allow the light we have received in baptism to shine brighter in season and out of season. In his first encyclical, Light of Faith, Pope Francis declares, there is an urgent need to see once again that faith is a light, for once the flame of faith dies out, all other lights begin to dim. So let us continue as we are reminded today that we celebrate the Passion of John the Baptist the importance to become light in the darkness, to let the faith that we have received in baptism to go out and illuminate the darkness of others. Let us take the example of John the Baptist who inspired us to be courageous in our witness to the faith. So John the Baptist also encourages us to continue to hold the values of the gospel and to proclaim them even when they are out of season. So let us continue to be then those uh, beacon of Jesus. Let us continue to be light in the darkness. And let us also learn from the courage of John the Baptist to proclaim the faith and to proclaim Jesus into this society. Please rise and let us profess our needs and intentions to the Father. For our lay and clerical leaders in the church, May the Holy Spirit continue to encourage and empower them for the daily ministries. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are persecuted because of their religion, may the compassionate heart of Jesus transform their sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered in prayer here today, may God help us live as John the Baptist did in bold but humble service to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have died in Jesus, may they soon be welcomed into the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those, for the intention of this Mass, for those who are starting a business or a new job, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our own particular needs and intention that we present the silence of our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord Father in heaven, you know all that we need, and you grant it in your perfect 
Thy name. Hear the prayers we have brought before you in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual life. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through these offerings which we bring you, O Lord, grant that we may make a straight your path, as taught by the, that voice crying in the desert, said John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Live up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for Jesus Christ our Lord. In St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular, singular power among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he lived, he left for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the land of redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of glory, for the Son of Christ, for the King of the Son of God, for the Son of You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon them like a dove, so that they may be bad for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim Jesus the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you this morning. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Jesus, we may be gathered 
be one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and other people. Therefore, remember, Lord, now all for whom we offer and pray in this Eucharist. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, the spouse, with St. Padre Pio of Pietrelcina, and with all your apostles and saints in your kingdom. Then, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Let us pray together as Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And may us have no temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, who said to your friends, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, and graciously grant them Peace and unity in accordance with the will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. So we will Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Let of God you take away the sins of the world. We call Jesus the Lord of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord.
Let us pray. Praise the Lord as we celebrate the heavenly birth of Saint John the Baptist, that we may revere for what is for what it signifies, the Saviour Sacrament we have received, and even more may rejoice at its clear effects in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the loving God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Most Sacred Home in peace. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn is in the Gather Hymn Notes number 612, Amazing Grace. <laughs>